Hello. In this video, we ask the question, can I charge my electric car on portable solar panels? Stay with me to find out more. The answer is both yes and no. With portable solar panels, you need to be able to plug them into a charge controller. You can't literally just hook up the panels to a battery. Um, you need a device that can protect the battery, that can make sure that it controls the current flow, etc. Now, I'm not an expert on solar panels and charge controllers, that sort of thing, but I know that my EcoFlow device, the portable power station that you've seen in other videos, does have uh, an MPPT controller within it. And it's got a connection explicitly for plugging in solar panels. So I've got a set of portable solar panels, I plug them into the EcoFlow power station and those can be used to charge up the EcoFlow power station. At the same time, simultaneously, you can plug in a 13 amp plug uh, granny charger cable for an electric car into the EcoFlow or, or any other power station and you can charge your car off that buffer battery. So the EcoFlow Delta Max, I think is that I've got, uh, might be the Delta Max 2, can't remember. It's about 2.1 kilowatt hour capacity and I can charge from solar panels. I've got two sets of panels, but I've only brought one set down with me, which are rated at 120 watts. Now, 120 watts clearly isn't a massive amount. And therefore, if you plug in your car at the same time, you're going to be depleting the battery faster than you're uh, charging from the solar panels. However, the solar panels are helping top up the battery a little bit during that time. So what I've done is I've configured the EcoFlow to stop charging, to stop outputting power when it gets as low as 10%. And I'll plug in the solar panels and we charge the car from the battery but it's probably depleting it a little less quick than if I hadn't plugged in the solar panels. So that's what we're talking about, really. It's not really intended for that, but I've got the single unit and it's enough that I can add up to about four or five percent charge to my 64 kilowatt hour battery in the e Nero. So in desperation, you know, it would get you out of trouble. And that's exactly why I brought it along on the journey, just in case I got somewhere and I was a bit lower on charge than I wanted to be. And then I can top up and, you know, get myself out of trouble. I'm not expecting to get that low because, you know, you don't plan to do that. You charge when you can, not when you need, all those sorts of things. ABC, always be charging. Um, but basically... If the opportunity came up, I thought, well, I'll charge off solar and, you know, fill up the EcoFlow battery. I can always, if I'm desperate, plug it in when I get back to the accommodation, um, you know, and just keep it there as an emergency reserve. Um, but as I say, I'm not planning to do that, you know, and run down the car that low that I'm desperate. But it could get me out of trouble. So, um... I was at the air show the other day, I was up on Beachy Head, which is up on the cliffs above the town, and it was a lovely bright sunny day, so I set out the EcoFlow and the solar panels in front of the car, facing the sun, I've got a little gadget which I'll show you a picture of that um, you put on the solar panels and it's got sort of crosshairs where it lines up where the spot of the shadow is onto a target. And then you can make sure that your solar panels are oriented, point, pointing at the sun. And obviously, if it's directly pointing at the sun, that's the best uh, you're going to get in terms of the most direct sunlight onto the panels. So rated at 120 watts, you never get the actual rated value. You get something close by. I was getting 100 kilowatts. So it was enough to sort of put a trickle back into the battery. And um, I set it up, I paid for parking to be up there to watch the air show and basically you're paying quite a long time so you're parking up, you're watching the aeroplanes and the car's doing nothing else so I thought why not plug it in, top it up a little bit and as I say I got about 4-5% extra added back to the car and uh, 
the car wasn't doing anything anyway, so why not? Um, it did get a few looks, people passing by wondering what I was doing, charging the car, but maybe that's food for thought for some of them. Um, nobody came and asked me any questions, so you know they might have made their own assumptions about how much power I was putting back into the car. But it didn't matter, the car was sitting doing nothing, so I thought, well, I'll just put a bit in anyway. It's free energy from the sun a little bit. So what happened was the EcoFlow got down to its 10% state of charge, and then it shut off the power to the 13 amp sockets, and the car stopped charging at that point. So just after then, basically what I did was I unplugged the granny lead from the EcoFlow, and just left the solar panels charging it back up. So from that 10% for the remainder of the time I was there, the solar panels got it back up to 20%. Uh, again, not a huge amount, but it was free energy and it was meaning that I would need to spend less time charging the car somewhere else. I'm not desperate for charge. There are places in the town I can go to charge it. Uh, I will need to charge on the way back home, obviously. But uh, every little helps, as uh, a certain popular supermarket says. So, yes, you can charge your car on solar panels, portable. I could have had an array of several, which would have made a bit more of a difference. But essentially, you're not charging it direct off the solar panels, using a buffer battery from the power station. Now, in the case of the EcoFlow, and probably some other brands as well, you can have the main unit, which I've got, which is... The whole controller unit, the battery, it's about 22 kilograms heavy. And um, you can also buy slave batteries so that you could have more capacity or faster charging throughput. Now, I haven't done that, but there is a very popular channel, which I'm sure quite a few of you will have found, Bjorn Nyland. And uh, he does have a slave battery, so he gets about 4 kilowatt hours for you know his unit. And he deliberately uh, runs down cars and charges them off the batteries. Now, he's not so much uh, talking about the solar aspect because, as I've said already, clearly you're not charging only off solar. But the solar does, you know, prolong that decline a little bit longer of the battery charge. So it's a little bit helpful. And uh, if you were, I don't know, staying at a campsite or uh, that sort of thing where you could more permanently set up bigger panels uh, for your stay. You know, you might be staying a few days at a campsite, then you'd probably get a bit more energy. Um, but it was just one of those things. I thought, well, I can do it, so I'll do it. And it's a little bit of free energy. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.